Doctor, can you talk about bottled water a little bit? Is that any safer or how do we know? Well, you know, if, if you could buy bottled water in some country besides the United States, you'd know because other countries put a label on their water that says, you know, how much calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, mm -hmm. fluoride it has in it, bromine and trace minerals. In our country, they tell you how much fat there is in your water and whether or not it's got any sugar in it. Well, this is a food label that the water companies resisted putting a bottled water label on it because they don't want to tell you. We've gone through and measured a bunch of waters and uh, Whole Foods, just about the same as tap water in terms of fluoride. Uh, how about Trader Joe's? Yep, same as tap water. Well, how about Arrowhead? Same as tap water. So might as well just take a hose and fill up the thing, put a lid on it and sell mm -hmm. it. What do you think? So we got terrible labels and we've got companies that are willing to take advantage of that. You know, nice clean looking label and mm -hmm. basically it's junk water. How about the filters that you can buy at home, the filters that come in refrigerators um, that you can put on your faucet, the ones you can put pitchers in the refrigerators, all sorts of filters that you can buy. Do those do anything in terms of uh, taking things like um, fluoride out? No. The, the, those filters are predominantly made up of um, uh, carbon, mm -hmm. and carbon will remove some of your tihalmethanes and uh, make your water taste better, but they don't remove any of the fluoride. Some people think you can get it out by boiling it. It actually makes it worse. The fluoride stays in the pot, so if you start it out and put two quarts of water in to make a bowl, you know, a bowl of soup and you boil it down to one quart, twice as much fluoride in the water that's left in the bowl because it doesn't leave in the steam. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, there are uh, waters that are made by steam distillation and generally they're low in fluoride. Uh, you can use high pressure reverse osmosis and they're generally low in fluoride as long as the membranes are good and it's high pressure. Low pressure doesn't remove hardly any fluoride at all. And so it's, it's but the biggest problem is that once you put it in the water supply, it, it absorbs directly through your skin. So what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. How are you going to bathe the baby? Are you going to, you know, go get bottled water for the baby? Are you going to take a shower? Mm -hmm. Are you going to, you know, leave town to take a shower? It's, it's, it's exactly the same problem as the lead problem from exhaust pipes. You know, if you've got, you know, 100 million cars driving around spewing lead, it ends up in everything. It ends up on the soil. It mm -hmm. ends up in your hair. It ends up in your lungs. If you've got municipalities putting silicon fluoride in the water, you end up with it in everything. It's in the beer. The, if you buy a local uh, craft brewery, it's mm -hmm. in your pasta. If you go to have lunch at your health food store, it, it's in your rice. If you go to the restaurant and rice dinner, if it's in your bowl of soup, it's in everything. Everything that touches that water ends up contaminated with that silicon fluoride.